It's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Barlays. We're talking NFL Lions at Falcons. We've got a promo code for you guys. Use the code BIG10, B-I-G-T-E-N, if you want 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Falcons favored in this one, minus three. The total is 56 and a half. The Falcons enter one and five, but two and four against the number. Lions two and three straight up and against the spread. Both defenses are giving up, on average, more than 30 points per game. And another stat of note, the Falcons are 0-3 against the spread at home. We've got Nick from the Insider's Room to talk this matchup. Uh, Nick, what jumps out to you? Well, I was 2-1 and one on Sunday, uh, Chelsea, and one of my picks was on the Lions. Detroit, it was coming off its bye week. Uh, previous to that, it lost uh, to the Saints at home, 34-29. to And so, yeah, I thought Matt Stafford was going to have a big day against that Jacksonville secondary, and he did. He finished with uh, over 230 yards, and he had a touchdown, and he spread the ball around to 10 different receivers. And running back Adrian Peterson, he had 40 yards and a rushing touchdown as well. I didn't play that Falcons-Vikings game at all, but, I, you know, I wish I did. I wish I had Atlanta on the money line because it sure looked a lot better it, it won 40 to 23. Matt Ryan, he was great. I mean, but he's been great all year on this Atlanta team. Uh, he's been, the you know, a bright spot here for the most part. Uh, he had 371 yards and four touchdowns. And the Falcons defense, it was also, it also came up big. It had three interceptions. Atlanta's deep, uh, weakness to this point, obviously it's defense. And I do think it's going to have its hands full here with this dynamic Lions offense. And now Detroit has put up 133 points so far over five games. So that's an average of 26.6 points. And the Falcons, they've allowed an average of 30.6 game, uh, 30.6 points over their six games. They've looked a little bit better over their last two. They've allowed 23 points uh, to the Vikings and Panthers. But that was uh, against a couple of offenses, which center around a mixed offensive scheme. Uh, whenever Atlanta has had a face, a top-tier passing quarterback this year, that's Seattle in week one, in which it allowed 38 points. Dallas in week two, it allowed 40 to Dak Prescott. It gave up 30 points in back-to-back -back weeks to the Bears and Packers. So other than Chicago, which scored a couple of defensive touchdowns, you know, the Falcons, they have really struggled against the pass. And so that advantage definitely goes to Stafford here, in my opinion. And so one other thing I think working in our favor for the Lions here is that Atlanta, uh, the schedule's working against it. It has a Thursday night game, so it's going to get caught looking ahead here, I think, in the second half to that game in Carolina on Thursday night. And so I think the outright win is possible, but I'm going to say grab the points. Oh, man, it might be a tough week for Atlanta sports fans uh, with the Braves blowing that 3-1 lead and then having to watch the Falcons, which, if you haven't noticed, it's just been really hard to watch some of their games, 1-5 and five on the year. That's going to do it for our NFL talk, Lions and Falcons. Good stuff from Nick from the Insider's Room. Nick, thanks for joining us.